Killzone is a first-person shooter, developed by Netherlands-based Guerrilla Games and released on November 2, 2004 in North America. The game was remastered in HD by Supermassive Games and re-released within the Killzone trilogy for PlayStation 3 as well as a standalone PSN title on October 23, 2012. Killzone takes place in the middle of the 24th century and chronicles the war between two human factions, the Vectans, and the Helgen. The game is played from a first-person view and follows Jan Templar, a high-ranking officer within the Interplanetary Strategic Alliance, as he battles invading Helgen forces into Vecta. Prior to its release Killzone was heavily anticipated with several publications considering it to be Sony's Halo Killer title. Upon release, however, the game was met with divided responses, with most critics praising Killzone's visuals, art design, soundtrack and atmosphere, but agreed that the final product was disappointing, with criticism also aimed at the game's narrative, characters and gameplay. Despite mixed reactions, Killzone spawned numerous sequels, several of which attained critical acclaim. Topic. Plot Killzone takes place in a fictional world set in the year 2357. After nuclear war rendered much of the Earth uninhabitable in 2055, world governments formed an international order known as the United Colonial Nations. Partnering with private firms, the UCN moved to establish human colonies in Alpha Centauri, a system occupied by two planets, Vecta, a rich Earth-like world named after the CEO of the mining conglomerate Helgen, Philip Vecta, and Helgen, a barren wasteland named after the same company. The Helgen Corporation sought to buy ownership of Vecta as well, but when the UCN imposed sanctions against its unfair business practices, a war broke out known as the First Extrasolar War, which led to the ESA, the military arm of the UCN, driving the company out of Vecta. In response, the exiled colonists established their own civilization on Helgen, built on the principles of militarism and authoritarianism. The harsh environment and atmosphere killed many Helgens, forcing the survivors to use respirators and air tanks just to breathe. Eventually, the population, now known as the Helgist, mutated into pale-skinned hairless humanoids with increased strength, stamina, and intelligence. Violently xenophobic and convinced of their superiority, the Helgen consider humans to be beneath them, and dream of one day reconquering Vecta and expanding their empire to Earth and the neighboring star systems. Topic. Story Skolar Vasari, Emperor of Helgen, sends the Helgist Third Army to launch a secret invasion of Vecta. Alerted to the attack, the ESA attempt to prevent it with their SD solar defense network, but are unable to activate it in time to stop the invaders. With the element of surprise on their side, the Helgist quickly overwhelm the unprepared ESA ground forces and capture several strategic locations, including ESA Central Command. While taking part in an offensive to slow the Helgist assault, Captain Jan Templar, a veteran ESA officer, is summoned to a meeting by his mentor and close friend, General Bradley Vaughton. Vaughton discloses that the ESA has requested assistance from the UCN and are working to restore the defense network. He also reveals that Colonel Gregor Hacke, a half-Helgen intelligence officer, had, on his orders, infiltrated the inner circle of 3rd Army Commander General Joseph Lente, only to vanish while traveling to an extraction point in Vecta's slums. As Hacke is the only individual with knowledge of how the invasion bypassed SD, he assigns Jan to locate him. After fighting his way through the Helgist occupying the exterior of Central Command, Jan runs into Luger, a former comrade who is now working with an elite ESA division known as the Shadow Marshals. He also recruits the services of Ricardo Velázquez, an ESA gunner seeking revenge for the massacre of his entire platoon. After rescuing Hacke, the team discovers that General Stuart Adams, the overseer for SD, is secretly working for Lente. He murders Vaughton and takes control of the system, planning to use it to destroy the relief fleet headed to Vecta. Under Jan's leadership, the team destroys several Helgist bases and infrastructure projects, eventually intercepting and killing Lente when he tries to deal with them personally. Adams retreats to the SD control center and tries to reason with the group, explaining that the Helgist will stop at nothing to reclaim Vecta, regardless of how many lives they lose. Nevertheless, the team disables the station and escapes just as the fleet destroys it, killing Adams. Jan and Luger speculate about what the future holds, realizing that the real war is far from over. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Voice cast. Cal Weber as Captain Jan Templar. Taylor Lawrence as Shadow Marshal Luger. Credit as Jennifer Lawrence. Tom Clark Hill as SGT. Rico Velasquez. Sean Pertwee as Colonel Gregor Hacka. Brian Cox as Skolar Vasari. Stephen Burkoff as General Joseph Lente. Ronnie Cox as General Stuart Adams. Bob Sherman as General Bradley Vaughton. John Schwab as additional ESA voices. Kenny Andrews as additional ESA voices. Credit as Kenny Andrews. Carrie Shale as additional ESA voices. Eric Myers as additional ESA voices. Credit as Eric Myers. Larissa Murray as additional ESA voices. Jonathan Keeble as additional Hegast voices. Gary Martin as additional Hegast voices. Topic. Reception Killzone received mixed to positive reviews. PSM stated that Killzone is "...graphically stunning and hits the mark in so many ways, it's baffling, they promised us we'd experience future war, and we have and come away shaking." Other reviewers cited technical problems with Killzone, including inconsistent AI, occasional bugs, frame rate issues, distracting graphical glitches, repetition of the same voices, short draw distance, and an awkward control system. Critics also complained about the gameplay, with IGN labeling it, "...underwhelming and mediocre," and Into Liquid Sky stating that it, "...needs more refinement." Reviewers such as GameSpy claimed that Killzone partly suffered due to the incredible publicity it received before release, raising expectations only for them to go unfulfilled. Despite this, Killzone was admired for its sound effects, its soundtrack, and its presentation of a gritty war zone. It was also credited for its unique hard sci-fi art design. <laughs>